Installing fiberglass tanks. An instructional video from Arenco Systems. Arenco's fiberglass tanks are easy to install and a set of installation instructions is affixed to every tank. Be sure to follow all instructions in order to keep the tank's warranty in force. Also, be sure to follow all OSHA guidelines for working in excavations. First, prepare the site. Excavate at least 24 inches beyond all sides of the tank to allow room for proper compaction. After excavating the hole, evaluate the base soil to see if it is stable. If it appears unstable, for example, peat, muck, or quicksand, consult an engineer. It's likely that you will be advised to over-excavate the hole and set a firm, compacted, granular, or concrete base before adding the bedding. If the base soil appears stable, prepare the bedding. Place a minimum 4-inch layer of either sand or pea gravel onto the bottom of the excavation. Compact the bedding and make it uniform. Note, when placed on the bedding, the tank should be deep enough to allow for a 1 quarter inch per foot slope for any of the building's sewer lines. Attach a chain or cable to the lifting brackets on the top of the tank. Carefully lift the tank and slowly lower it into the excavation so it sets into place without shifting. Set the tank level on the compacted bedding and remove the chain or cable. Then start backfilling. Backfilling is a three-step process that involves adding water to the tank, placing the backfill material, and compacting the material. Begin by filling the tank with about 16 inches of water. Then backfill to the same height. For the backfill material, use half-inch or smaller crushed rock or pea gravel, not sand, per written installation instructions. Next, compact the backfill with a mechanical compactor. Be sure to compact carefully in the haunch areas under the curvature of the tank. Now, repeat the process. Add another 16 inches of water, backfill, and compact until the backfill is just below the tank's midseam. Next, perform the tank's infield watertight test. Completely fill the tank with water to a level 2 inches into the risers. Wait at least 30 minutes and inspect the tank for leaks. There should be no drop in the liquid level and no visual leakage. Once the tank is proven watertight, drop the water level below the invert, but not below the midseam. Most of the time, anti-buoyancy measures aren't necessary, but they may be depending on soil conditions, backfill material, and the tank's depth of bury. For more information, consult the installation instructions that come with your tank. If anti-buoyancy measures are necessary, you'll need to add a concrete collar for supplemental ballast. It should be a minimum of 18 inches wide, measuring from the side of the tank wall, by 6 inches thick. You can form a dam with backfill material to confine the collar's width to 18 inches. Plan on ordering at least 2 cubic yards of 2500 PSI concrete. There is more than one way to make a concrete collar. We recommend that you pour the first 3 inches of concrete first, above the entire perimeter of the 5 inch wide midseam. Next, on top of the pour, place a 12 inch width of remesh around the entire perimeter of the tank. Then pour the final 3 inches of concrete on top of the remesh. As an alternative, if you want to make a concrete collar without using remesh, you can make the concrete layer 12 inches thick instead of 6. Allow the concrete to set as long as possible, but a minimum of 2 hours, so it's hard enough for the final backfill. Whether you pour a concrete collar or not, the final steps are the same. Complete the remaining backfill and compaction, above the midseam to the finished grade, in layers no thicker than 24 inches. Native backfill material is typically used. If the native material is not suitable, use the same material you used below the midseam. As you finish your last backfill layer, make sure the risers extend a minimum of 3 inches above grade. This will allow for settling and ensure that water drains away from the risers. That's it! In our opinion, you have just installed the finest tank for on-site wastewater treatment that's available today. One that will help ensure your customer's on-site system is high-performing, low-maintenance, and environmentally sound. For more information about installing our fiberglass tanks, call Arenco Systems at 1-800-348-9843.